Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Untamed Fishing Adventures. Today, we're gonna slow things down a little bit. We've been doing a lot of musky fishing and quite a bit of bass fishing. But today, we're gonna do a little catch and eat. Tanner, you wanna tell them what we're up to today? Yeah guys, we're out here on this local private lake here and it is absolutely full of these big crappie. We're gonna to try to put some in the boat, and maybe eat a few if we get lucky. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna get right in this episode. Hopefully we can put some crappie in the boat by jigging today. So you guys stay tuned. Another crappie. Come up and speak to us, crappie, crappie. Oh. And he spit the hook. Right the I could taste him from here. <laughs> this one here is getting a bite now. There it went. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. He's got the pole bent triple. Get him in the boat. All right. We got dinner, baby. Everybody likes crappie, man. I mean, there it goes, there it goes. You get him? Got him. <laughs> you gotta love it, dude. We're gonna start cooling them here before too long. <laughs> oh, did you get him? Oh, dang, that's what I'm talking about. That's crappie fishing. Why you need to go Lake Wise whenever you got this in Kentucky? Oh no. Get them back out, boy. Huh? The wind's terrible. Put this, put the red on. They do like the red. You know they like the red. Oh my gosh. Good lord. He had it bent, <laughs> he had it bent under the boat, dude. That's that's gotta be a bass. It's gotta be a bass. He's right up under the boat. He's put up a good fight though. I think it's a crappie. He's got a lot of head shakes in him. Slab Big slab. Slab daddy. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. We about missed him. I just looked down and the daggone rod was bent triple. All right guys, that doesn't include the episode like we stated before. Now it's time to go home. We're gonna get the grease hot. We've got a bunch of slabs in the boat. We got about seven or eight, I believe we caught. And uh, we're gonna see how they taste. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna get the grease hot. We've made it back to the old kitchen here. Tyler, he's just sort of processing the flays. He's cutting the ribs out after we flayed them. We'll get the grease hot. And We'll show you guys what we're gonna put in it, what we're cooking with, and how, sort of how, to, how we're gonna do it. All right, guys, we're getting our potatoes ready. We're just gonna do a simple fried potato in a in a skillet with some grease in it, um, just salt, pepper, and maybe some onions. Nothing too fancy here to go with the fish. All right, we're getting our potatoes started. You wanna start them a little center? You do your fish. That takes just a little bit longer to cook. We're just throwing them in there. We're gonna add a little salt, a little pepper, and sprinkling our onions we just cut as well. You can use those onion powders and stuff, but the real thing always makes it taste just a little better. This is the batter that we use on pretty much everything here in Southern Kentucky. Chicken, fish, 
wild turkey, I mean deer, I mean anything we can put it on, this is what we use. It's called Kentucky Colonel. Um, those of you that don't live in Kentucky and you don't get this option, I'll be getting online to order it or just sorry about your luck. This is some really good breading to go on just about any meat. So we're going to start prepping our fish. Alright guys, for our Kentucky Colonel, the way, the way we like it to stick to our fish, um, we like to add just a little bit of milk and a couple eggs in there. And then just get you a fork. Just get that all stirred up. Should look something like that right there. We'll just let our fish lay in that for a couple minutes. And we'll get them battered up and put them in the oil. So it's pretty simple from here on out. Just probably just go ahead and just pour you a little bit out here on the on the dish that you're gonna be using. Just take your fish, just drip him in there. Try not to make a mess like I just did. Just get a good coating on there and lay them off to the side. Just continue to do that with all of them until you get them all battered up. And then it'll be time to throw them on the oil. Alright guys, we got them going in the grease. Potatoes are frying up, starving us to death in here. Looks like we're only going to get about half of the flays in there, but that's all right. Well guys, we have got our meal prepped after a long day of fishing. It started out tough. The wind was unbelievable, but we finally dropped out our lines, started uh, trolling, and as you can see, we got meat on the table. We're going to give it a try and we'll see how it tastes. That's good. We hate you guys in here to share this meal with us, but go fishing with us next time. Make sure to reach out and hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Untamed Fishing Adventures. I ain't going to be worth a dime after this meal. <laughs> <laughs>